Hello and welcome to this Come to Jesus Daily devotional. I trust you are well. This week in our devotions, we're focusing on Luke 11, 29 to 32. And today we consider what is meant by the sign of Jonah. Let's read from Luke 11, 29 to 30. As the crowds increased, Jesus said, this wicked, this is a wicked generation. It asks for a sign, but none will be given it except the sign of Jonah. For as Jonah was assigned to the Ninevites, so also will the Son of Man be to this generation. And it's this phrase is slightly expanded in what we read in Matthew 12, 39 to 41. He answered, a wicked and adulterous generation asks for a sign, but none will be given it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of a huge fish, so the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. The men of Nineveh will stand up at the judgment with this generation and condemn it, for they repented at the preaching of Jonah, and now something is greater, greater than Jonah is here. Today's lesson, the sign of Jonah is that as Jonah was three days in the depths of the sea, so Jesus' three days in the grave and his resurrection are a sign that we are lost but can be found through faith in Christ. In the book of Jonah, we see that Jonah was called by God to go and preach to the people of Nineveh. However, Jonah disobeyed God and ran away on a ship in the opposite direction. As a result, God sent a, sent a storm to discipline him, to bring him to his senses, which led to Jonah being thrown overboard and swallowed by a huge fish. And here, in the dark and deep, for three days and three nights, he will learn humility, prayer and worship. He will repent. The story of Jonah is a sign because it foreshadowed Jesus' own death and resurrection. Jesus was swallowed up by death for three days before rising from the dead. The miracle of Jonah's very strange circumstances is a reminder of Jesus' death and resurrection for our freedom and salvation. So what does the sign of Jonah speak about to us? Firstly, it's a sign of mercy over judgment. Jonah was a sign to the Ninevites, a sign of God's wrath first over their sin, but also a sign of God's mercy when they repented. So Jesus in the gospel is a sign of wrath first, God's wrath for our sin, but also mercy on all who receive him. The sign of Jonah speaks to us of justification for peace in the place of wrath and judgment. As Jonah being thrown into the storm brought peace to the raging sea, and as his preaching led to peace rather than judgment, so Jesus being thrown into death for us has given us justification and peace, no matter how we feel. So firstly, it's a sign of mercy over judgment. Secondly, it's a sign of hope. The sign of Jonah, Jonah speaks of hope. As Jonah was vomited onto the shore, so Jesus was raised to life. Jesus' resurrection speaks of our present resurrection life and our future resurrection life and the restoration of all things. So the sign of Jonah in Jesus speaks of mercy over judgment and speaks of hope, present hope and future hope. So in response, the sign of Jonah is that as Jonah was three days in the depths of the sea, so Jesus three days in the grave and his resurrection are a sign that we are lost but can be found through faith in Christ. When we're fearful and feeling condemned, let's recall the sign of Jonah. I'm sure that Jonah would never forget how his sin of disobedience led him into the heart of the sea and into this terrible situation inside the belly of a fish. He would never forget that, would he? He would never forget also God's mercy in giving him a second chance at life. Likewise, 
Let's remember and celebrate how Jesus has raised us and given us new life. When we're depressed and feeling condemned and alone, never forget the love of God shown to you through Jesus' death and resurrection for you. Let's be committed to taking communion with the church, which is the ultimate way to remember Jesus' death and resurrection and the sign of Jonah. God bless you.